It's the 14th of May 2011 and this is Plymouth International Tattoo Convention. Where's it in New South? Pardon? Where's it in New South? Body jewelry and filter piercings. And where are you based? Just anywhere really. Are you, do you live in Plymouth? No, we live in Typeford. In where, sorry? Typeford. Oh, right. <laughs> so, so where do you sell your work? All over the place? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> From and how long have you been tattooing? Um, from from Falmouth in uh, in Cornwall. I've been tattooing for just under five years now, actually from scratch. So uh, yeah, it's my first convention, Plymouth convention. So yeah, it's really nice to get here. I've got um, got Sam here doing a nice sort of Samoan tribal piece, so which was started beforehand. But it's just nice to come with something that's sort of pretty familiar and getting used to talking to people on the way, do you know what I mean? So, but yeah, really enjoying it so far. It's just nice to see lots of tattooed people and have a bit of a chat and meet some of the other guys from local studios and stuff. So, yeah, it's good fun. So what's it like in the part of the country where you live? What? Um, well, there's quite a big arts university, actually, in Falmouth. So we get quite a lot of work from some of the students and stuff and um, 
been in quite a small place, you it's if you want to kind of specialise in a certain thing, it's slightly limiting really. But um, I'm, at the moment, I'm really getting to get a good mix of stuff that I really enjoy doing, like the tribal sort of stuff, and uh, some of the geometric dot work and sort of biomechanical. So I'm getting some really nice pieces in, so I'm really enjoying that, so it's good. How did you get into tattoo, uh, tattooing in the first place? Um, well, I didn't actually know anyone sort of directly that's into tattoos. I pretty much sort of discovered it myself, obviously, from uh, like kind of extreme sports and the music that I was into. And then shortly after leaving school, started getting pierced and, and tattooed. And then from there, I was absolutely hooked. So I just worked on my drawing and uh, I went travelling um, over to Australia for a little while and went around lots of studios and, and just sort of went into pretty much every studio that I could find and just to try and get some info. And then, um, yeah, I got hooked up with a, with a guy who was looking for an apprentice. So yeah, moved moved down to Cornwall with uh, 200 pounds to my name. Didn't really know what was going to happen. And then yeah, just uh, hard work. And then it's nice to have uh, sort of getting a good reputation for the studio. It's a strange sort of link between extreme sports and tattooing. So how yeah, and the music and stuff it? like that. I mean, uh, I was into my skateboarding and BMXing and stuff. So there's obviously and that kind of. I'd say it's pretty, it's pretty well linked to sort of like heavy metal and punk music, and then obviously from there you get to see a lot of tattooed people. And yeah, it's just one of those things that kind of goes hand in hand, really. So many people work with you. Uh, I'm sort of full-time tattooist, and then I got my friend Sam, who's sort of uh, his business partner as well. Uh, he also does the piercing and stuff. So just us two at the moment. Uh, just taking on an apprentice as well, so we'll see how see how we get on with that. And we've got a few guest artists lined up as well. Um, we've got a guy from Italy coming over. Um, we've got a friend who's been travelling around. She's done a bit of Europe, uh, North America. She's in New Zealand at the moment, so she's going to come back and guest. Uh, got a friend over from Norway at the moment. He's doing a little bit of guest work too, so it's nice to. Uh, you know, offer some availability for a guest spot as well, and uh, hopefully I can go guest with them as well. So that'll be good. Well, what's your name? Uh, my name's Ash Harrison. Thanks a lot, Ash. I'll talk to Sam now. Yeah, no worries. So, so you're the main piercer at the studio? I am, yeah. I do like more the business side of it and do the piercings. So like that way it just leads Ash to be able to crack on with his artwork and solely concentrate on tattooing. So how did you get into piercing? Um, well, when Ash was taking over the studio, he kind of asked me if I wanted to do the reception and run the business side of it for him. Um, and seeing as though I was doing that, I thought, well, I might as well train up in the piercings. Um, it's always, obviously, body modification and getting tattooed and things always something I've been into so I just thought we might as well do it so the guy who was handing the studio over to Ash, Vic Field he was a piercer and sort of put me through my training and things like that and I kind of chucked myself into the deep end really got everyone who was willing to let me pierce on them come in the studio and we just sort of cracked on and so went from did there Did you do any test ones first then? I did quite a few test ones on quite um, exciting, especially on, <laughs> on certain parts of the anatomy um, Yeah for sure, I mean you've got to know quite a lot about anatomy and you know the position of the body and know you know the ins and outs of piercing but I think it's anything with body modification to start with it's a very daunting experience but the more you do it the more you feel comfortable with it and you just sort of crack on really so Where about is the uh, studio in Falmouth? Um, it's on the high street, it's like dead centre in the middle of town, so Falmouth isn't a big place, so it's like straight up the high street and we're on the top floor in 58 Church Street. So it's what, are, what are the main uh, clients for tattooing and piercing? Well, there's a university based in uh, Falmouth, you see, so like quite a lot of our clientele are sort of student based. Um, but we get all sorts, we get so many different clients coming in because Ash doesn't just stick to one style, he does biomech and tribal and Japanese and realism. It kind of brings in quite a wide range of clientele, which is nice really, you know, because we get to cover sort of everything all at once. Cool, thanks a lot. So, okay, no worries. Um, the prominent idea at the minute is a foot uh, So where's your business work from? Sorry? What's your company called? Sacred Arts, Cheshire. Cheshire, where are in Cheshire? Northwich. Northwich, I come from Middlewich. Yeah, right. I've been based down in Plymouth for years. Yeah.
long way for you to come? Well, got my bacon down at Pushing Inc. invited us to come down. So he's got a shop down here, so we thought we'd come down and do a little bit. Are you getting a lot of work in North Coast then? Yeah, busy. Yeah. Uh, I think like everywhere we're really busy, especially this time of year. Yeah. So you're from North Wiltshire originally? No, no, I'm from the Lake District originally, but I've lived all over Europe over the years. So North Wiltshire is quite a place to go to. Yeah, it's not too bad. You've got yeah. Runcorn and Warrington not too far away then. So do you work in, uh, work in Liverpool? No, um, at the moment I live down in Cornwall, oh, right. um, down the way, so I've got, not work at the moment, but might be moving to London to work. Have you got a studio? Yeah. What's the studio called? Um, at the moment I'm looking to work in Original Skin, uh, used to work in Skin Work Stab. Where's Original Skin? Uh, London. Uh -huh. When are you hoping to move to London? Um, next couple of months, really. So, how long have you been tattooed? Um, about six years now. Yeah. Um, yeah. How did you get into it? Um, I was hanging out with Dalza over there. He taught me everything I know. Um, I went to school with his wife and I was delivering pizza for a living and happened to deliver two of them one day. That's what she was doing and she was said she had a studio around the corner and I wanted to call in for a room. So I did and then never really left and more or less bothered them to the point that I got an apprenticeship. So where are you based? I'm based in Launceston in Cornwall now. I finished my apprenticeship a few years ago now. And what's your studio called? Pushing Inc. Uh, pushing You'd be able to tell if you'd rather have them falling down. <laughs> yeah, cool. I don't want a video taken though. <laughs> So where are you based? Uh, we're based at uh, Shoreline Tattoo in St Ives. How long have you been there? I've been there since September, so what's that? That's uh, half a year, isn't it? Just about. Uh, yeah, came down from Yorkshire. So how did you get into it? Hanging out with the wrong crowd, stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always been interested in it. It's just... Uh, Opportunity came along to uh, to start off and we just went from there. Is it, is it a busy place? Very busy. Yeah, I've got quite a waiting list. So. so, how many people are working with you? Uh, just myself and Beth. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. Do you do piercings as well? Uh, yes, Sam does the piercings. And we also do uh, laser removal every second Monday. Do you have a, a website? Uh, we do. Uh, I want to pick up one of the cards now. I'll put really off the top of my head, but you'll find it's on MySpace. Uh, that's where we publish a lot of our pictures now. So where did you get your piercings done? I got this one in Thailand and I got this one blue banana. 
in Plymouth. Yeah. So how do you get into piercing? You must have taken a bit of courage to start with. No, it's just something I always fancy. So why not? When did you start getting them done? When I was about 16. Well, uh, cheers, thanks a lot for that. So where are you based? St Ives. St Ives? Yeah. Oh, you're with your guy next door, right? Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah, we were going to have a double booth, but they decided to... I didn't want to see him today. Oh. <laughs> you see too much oh, no, of him. he didn't want to look at me. You yeah. see too much of him during the week, dude. Pardon? You see too much of him during the week. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Beth. Okay. Beth. Thanks, Beth. Okay. <laughs> Last year? Yeah, yeah. And you've been touring the, the uh, country for a year, you've only just come back? Yeah, I've been to Cyprus, Paris and Dublin. So how did you go last year? Last year was good, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So uh, uh, do you tattoo everywhere you go? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So how, how do you get your clients? Uh, Cyprus was uh, working in a studio, Paris was the Paris convention. And Dublin was working in the studio as well. So, How did you get into it originally? Uh, I did an apprenticeship. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, back in Nottingham. Right. So. Thanks a lot. No worries. I turn myself around now. I look back in the screen. Hold your short hand 
been on holiday I was talking all the way to you Cause every fascination comes with a price in your heart Do you like to say that you don't like to have fun You can't say that I'm so bad all the time Cause I give you time and I give you life in this world the steps that you take the moves that you make in your eyes Thanks to all the tattoo artists, the organisers and everyone involved in Plymouth Tattoo Festival 2011. This has been a Chris Summerfield Media Production 2011. You can contact me, sponsor me and support me through PayPal at chrisofersummerfield.gmail.com. Thanks for watching this video and um, for the privilege of working with all these people. Every fascination comes with a price in your heart.